What's up, up SV squad, squad and welcome Come back to another video with your boy Joji and your girl Victoria back again. Back we are going to do, as you would have seen by the title, a story time. Yeah. Now it's been a minute since we've done a story time. This is a story time for 2018 guys. <laughs> And we were thinking like because we've been wanting to get in front of the camera for a long time yeah. But we've had a lot going on at the moment I've been kind of unwell, but I'll save that for another time. So This is my look by the way. I just woke up like this. I don't know what happened I just opened my eyes from my sleep and bam! And this is my look guys um, looks like a sexy boy. Bam, bam. Um, the story time that we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk to you guys about how we met each other's parents. Well, like mine was kind of boring. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm wearing a really cheap lipstick, so if it rubs off, don't mind me. I'm gonna go first. Okay, so how I met Siossi's mother. So um, most of y'all. Wouldn't know actually, but Siossi's dad passed away a couple of years ago. I think yep. you were 18 or something. Anyways, guys, so Siossi's father is no longer with us here on earth, but how I met his mum is basically Siossi and I were like dating for seven, eight months and obviously doing long distance. Then I was um, went over to Samoa to spend Christmas and New Year's there which is how I met his mum. My sister's birthday is on Christmas day, so we had a big barbecue, also celebrating her birthday, and... Um, to your mum's family. Yeah, in Akaivai, G Waters, represent. And then later that night, he was like calling me and I was stop. <laughs> he was calling me heaps because, I don't know, we're... At we're that not, time, I met her mum. Yeah, my mum was there and stuff and he was coming with us to Savai because, you know, he didn't want me to go to Savai by myself because no, I wouldn't... She lied. <laughs> she wanted me to come with her. I never told you to and come. He was actually working at the time. He was she... working at the time and he just left with no notice because I was like, okay, we're going to Savai. He's like, I really want to come. I was like, kind of thinking like, no, you can't come because she my mum was... I only knew my mum was coming as well. And, and you, I wasn't and you, sure how my mum was going to feel about yeah. it. So. And you say... Excuse me, this is my story time. That's the time I met your mum. Yeah, shush. Anyways, then we went to G Waters and he was staying with his family. I was staying with mine. And we had that big barbecue. We had like this massive party. And then um, later that night, he kept like... Well, later that evening of the barbecue, he kept calling calling me and calling me and then he was like oh can you come drop me some barbecue and I was like nah 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 I kept saying no and, and <laughs> hey babe stop interrupting that's not fair just tell the truth I'm telling the truth don't worry you get to tell your truth later and then oh no yeah you can have some input because I got some inputs to put in yours too but then after at six o'clock or something I was like yeah I really want to go and see him because like G Waters and Sale Aula is like 40 minutes away, something like that. So I went with my sister and there is like, um, it's like kind of a dangerous road. You don't want to go there by yourself at night time because apparently like there's um, ghost hitchhikers on the side, like in this um, pit, like that vial. There is honestly, it's like, it goes for like five Ks three to five k's maybe off the top of my head and it's just like grass like high grass like taller than me or like the road and then on the sides it's just grass and they say that like sometimes um taxi drivers like when they go to drop off their passengers at night sometimes they have hitchhikers and like they're not hitchhikers they're like ghosts and um yeah that's very dangerous if you stop for one you probably will die anyways and that's that's for another story time like paranormal activities i have got so many stories in samoa so then chrissy and i jumped in the car and we we i you know made him up a plate it was just one plate because like i didn't think that i was gonna meet I didn't think that I was going to meet his mum. I didn't think to give him like two plates or anything because I, I, did, I didn't know I was going to meet his mum that night. Then, 
when I, we pulled up, maybe seven, yeah, seven or eight o'clock. I was like calling him to come and get the food. I wanted to give him a nice little hug. And he was like, come, come, come. Anyways, the car pulled up and Siossi must have told his mum that it was me and Chris. And then all of a sudden his mum comes out with an umbrella in the rain telling us to come inside. I'm like, oh my God, I could kill Siossi right now. Like just come and get your damn food. Cause I was not prepared to meet his mum. Did had no intention of meeting his mum that night. So then- That's respect guys. And then my sister Chrissy conveniently needed to go to the bathroom at the same time. So all, all I see, like I'm in the car, like, no, no, it's okay. And Chrissy gets out and uses the umbrella that she was his mom brought out. And she's like, do you guys have a toilet? Like, so she goes out in the back and uses their bathroom and I'm still like, no, 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 it's okay. Anyways, I just felt so disrespectful that I ended up going and going into his house and I sat down, his sister was there, his other sister was there, his nephews and then his mum. So I put the barbecue down and I just didn't know what to do, what to say, like I wasn't mentally prepared. I wasn't like physically prepared. I was just wearing a t-shirt in it. Yeah, I didn't know what to say. And then when I sat down, I was so nervous. And Siossi, I saw his face, he was so mimika, like, yeah, boy. <laughs> yes, you were. Yes, you were. This guy was not even coming to sit down with me. He was like walking around, nor his girl cousins like, I remember his girl cousins walked past and they were like, Wait, got their food and my Yossi Mari Kiss Yossi. And then Siossi came finally Hi. after like five minutes, finally came and sat down next to me. And I was just like sitting there, I didn't really say anything like to his mom, I'm so sorry, mom. I didn't really say anything to her. She when, was like just asking me questions and Siossi's sister was asking me questions and I was just so nervous. I was like, oh my god. And I was like, mm, mm. And, <laughs> and she wants me and she wants me to stay with me. No, you wanted me to stop lying. Yeah, she this guy was like stay with this me. guy when I, when he found out that I was coming to bring barbecue, he was like, Man you awful kimoye kimoye. Anyway, so he was like bring your clothes so that you can sleep over. I'm like, hell no, I'm not sleeping over. Like I just met your family and I like I don't even want to sleep over. He was like, You can sleep with my mom. <laughs> No. <laughs> He's like, you, you, you should can, tell the truth. Um, that is the truth. You're like, you can sleep with my mom. I was like, um, no, I'm just happy sleeping with my own mom. Thank you. And <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Yeah, guys, she lied. No, I'm not lying, babe. Stop saying I'm she lying. I'm not lying. After like 10 minutes, I was like, okay, it's kind of getting late. So I better go. I was, I was, I felt like I didn't spend enough time with Siotsi. Like I wanted to go walk around his village and stuff, but I definitely didn't want to sleep there. Then the next day we had planned to like go around Savai and do, you know, the whole round trip as we always do every, every time we go over there. And we passed Ale Aula and like coincidentally, Siotsi was walking on the road, on the main road where we were passing. And then we ended up stopping on the side of the road and I knew Siotsi wanted to jump in for a little trip no, around the way. Okay. Yeah, when we go to Savati, I met her, her mom. At that time, I was so shy. Yeah, most of her family there, her aunties and her uncles. But you know, guys, someone boy didn't care, guys. Do you know that? Yeah. What do you mean he's just the way? <laughs> you know that. I'm not care about that. That's why I'm. Yes, pregnant. you did. Oh my gosh, she did. I was like, oh, seriously, this is my mom, mom. This is seriously my mom. was like, hi. And I said, hi. Maro. Like, that is not how you greet my mom. Give her a kiss on the cheek. Greet her. Maro. I was like, oh my god, how embarrassing. This is meant to be your first impression, and look how you're saying hello to my mom. No. Obviously, my mom's gonna be like, um, yeah, no. I'm not gonna kiss your mom. Really, nigga? What do you mean? I was just saying, mom, I was like, oh, my lucky mom. You did not Means, say, mom, was yes. my lucky mama. Yes. You did not say, mom, so you fool my lucky mama. Or is it, mom? Mom, so you fool. When we on the pole, she didn't care to me, guys. Yeah. She come talk to her family. And I was sitting by myself there. Yeah, but. No, it's because I couldn't. And like, 
because I was in the car, it was like the old um, boat where there was no shelter. Like all the cars just go on the front of the boat. In summer, they try to pack on as many cars as they can. The space between the car door and the boat was like this. How could I even fit? I couldn't even get out. Even if I tried to jump out the window, I could not fit between that little gap. Yeah, so that's how he met my mom. And then for my dad, seriously like a true man that he is, went and asked my dad for permission, like a man should. So I was like so proud of Siossi. I was in Australia at the time that he met my dad. So many girls were giving their boyfriend's husband benefits. I mean, I'm not saying like don't creep around at all, but don't creep around too long. Like don't let, don't give the guy too many privileges before he's even met your family. Yeah, your mama means you go with your own things like fool or yeah, to respect to her parents. Yeah, when I met her dad, what did you say? I was talking about what I'm coming with and... Can you just say the first part that, of what you said? I forgot it, I forgot it guys. Stop lying. My time on that time is so hard and deep. I remember CSC called me actually. He was like practicing like every day for like three days or something like a week or something like that and I was so nervous for him I was like oh my god you better get it right because if we get rejected boy that's the end of us no, <laughs> no guys <laughs> you know me guys my dad is the professional of the salmon and that speech my rushy form along in my year and they fuck out for me bad it go make boy then you can lock up so the valley fully and I'll go straight to the point. You know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, you know, Salmon Boys is not gonna beat around the bush. Yeah, you go straight to the point. <laughs> what did my grandma say? When I'm talking, I saw her grandma's this. He, he's talking, she's talking to her dad. He, she said, I saw it because I'm talking and she. <laughs> she said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she she you know me is a beautiful boy. <laughs> of course, my dad accepted him. He said, you know, there's nothing else that he can say. If my daughter loves you, and you look, you will look after my daughter, and you love her, then there's nothing else that he can say. Yes. And so he said, you know, that's fine. He accepted him. And then the next week, my dad was like, yeah, <laughs> So basically for you non-speaking someone, the next week come. after my dad met him, he wanted to ask him to pack his bags and go and live on his farm and help him with the Mokmonga, with the plantation. With, with the boys. So Siossi did. He used to live with my family for like almost one year before he came out to Australia. And it was so far from his work, but yeah. he still did it. And that's why I just appreciate you so much. You know, that was, that really, not that he did it to prove anything to me, but that really proved his love for my family. And especially for me, like, what kind of person goes and lives with the, their in-laws without you. the person there? Yeah. Like, I was in Australia the whole time. I visited him like heaps of hit, like maybe three times in the whole year that he was there, two or three times. Um, but I just couldn't believe, like, and it was so hard leaving. It would have been easier for him if he was with his own family um, when I had left. That's pretty cool, eh? Oh, that's pretty much how he met my parents and how I met his. Nothing too fancy or spectacular, but, you know, I appreciate his manliness, his masculinity to go and approach my dad straight to the point, face yes, to face. Guys. No beating around the bush and um, like, you know, no some other men that I've been with. Boy. If you oh, want to yeah. know if he's serious about you and you know, you're in that stage where you're kind of serious, ask him, would you meet my dad right now? If he tells you that you're serious, ask him, 
yeah. are you willing to meet my dad at the moment like I don't know everybody's different but for me personally my parents were the ones that raised me they put all of the hard work in to help me be the person that I am so their opinion to me is highly considerable like if my dad would have said that day no then I would have cut it off because I trust him enough to see my best interest and I trust his judgment I trust him that much I love my parents a lot thank you so much for listening and watching our story time today if you liked it and you want to hear more of this kind please comment down below what you want us to talk about and also give us a big thumbs up and give thumbs up guys subscribe if you haven't already there's a bell next to the subscribe button down below yep click it so that you get every time we upload and you will not miss out and basically that's it from us all right well we love you so much and that's it from us yep and we love you so much sv squad peace